Epic View Studios presents a tribute to our Lawrence High School Senior Class of 2021. Now let me introduce to you our amazing senior baseball players. Playing second base and first base, Ryan Bork. shortstop and second base Dylan Coombs playing second base and pitching Hayden Lee playing first base and designated hitter Mason Lunt playing second base and pitching Zach Nickerson left field and right field, John Roy. Congratulations to our seniors and the best of luck in the future. Produced and recorded by Brian Bork at Epic View Studios and Marketing. Any commercial use, rebroadcast, retransmission, or distribution of the following presentation, without the express written consent of Epic View Studios, is strictly prohibited. Today's high school baseball action is sponsored by the following local sponsors. Sonny's Pizza Main Street Fairfield Fresh Dough Better Pizza 4537624. By Aquarius Pool and Spa, 224 Augusta Road in Winslow, you deserve this, 8725827. By Northeast Labs, 227 China Road in Winslow, Maine's largest laboratory services provider, 8737711. By Kennebec Valley Community College, 92 Western Avenue, Fairfield, start here, go anywhere, 453-5000. And by Central Maine Motors Auto Group in Waterville, come get your keys at the place with no dock fees, where cars and trucks always cost you less. By Uncle Dean's Natural Market, 80 Grove Street in Waterville. Eat well, live well, 8736231. By Tanya's Tips and Trims, 27 Main Street Fairfield, a full-service salon and spa for all your beauty needs, 453-1776. By Kennebec Equipment Rental, 19 Skowhegan Road, Fairfield. Quality rental equipment and sales since 1964. 453-9351. By Dixon's Country Market on the Neck Road in Benton. Groceries, cold beer, propane, gas, and more. 453-9547. By Ming Lee Chinese Restaurant, 365 Main Street, Waterville. Voted the best of the best for 15 years. 873-2828. Prime Financial on the West River Road in Waterville, helping Maine families pursue their retirement goals through planning and investment management. Call today, 877-9450. Ready to grow your business? Place your business ad here. Email Epic View Studios and Marketing at epicview at yahoo.com.
the truth will break your chains we have the key open your eyes and see we are the ones who know the answers and they ain't never gonna hold us back Did you know that Americans spend 90% of their time indoors? This poses the question, how safe is the air and water in my home? Northeast Laboratory Services is a fully accredited veteran-owned laboratory with two convenient locations in Westbrook and Winslow, Maine. Northeast Labs has all your environmental testing services covered, including water quality, lead, radon, mold, and asbestos. Convenient kits make testing your home easy. Stop by one of their locations and pick up a collection kit for free or order one online at anylabservices.com. For exceptional customer service and knowledgeable analysts ready to assist with any questions, call Northeast Labs today to find out how they can provide answers for a healthier environment for you and your business. Life is complicated enough. Let's get back to the basics. Starting with what we eat. Healthy food sustains, nourishes, and fuels our bodies and minds. We understand that your food choices really do matter, and we're here to help. No preservatives, no artificial flavors or ingredients. Just wholesome, real food. From the farm to your table. Food the way it should be. Eat well, live well. Uncle Dean's Natural Market. The Central Maine Motors Auto Group wants to buy your vehicle. Come into any Central Maine Motors Auto Group dealership in Waterville and get the most for your car, truck, SUV, or crossover, whether you're trading it towards a new one or not. Selling it online yourself can be a hassle. Or worse, the used car business has never been better at Central Maine Motors Auto Group, and they want to add your vehicle to their inventory. If you're unhappy with your trade-in offer from another dealer, give Central Maine Motors Auto Group a call, and you could get more money for your vehicle with no purchase necessary. Call 872-5591 to speak with used car specialists Mike Lambert, Dan Seegers, or Wendy Voter. 872-5591. The Central Maine Motors Auto Group is buying used vehicles. Come into any of their three locations. Central Maine Toyota at 15 Airport Road, right behind Central Maine Motors Chevy Buick 420 Kennedy Memorial Drive, and Central Maine Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat 300 Kennedy Memorial Drive in Waterville. Online at cmautogroup.com. Good afternoon, high school baseball fans. Welcome into Kai's Field. Rick Dougal along with Brian Bork for today's big game between the Lawrence Bulldogs and the Coney Rams. Uh, today's game brought to you by Sunny's Pizza, Main Street, Fairfield. Aquarius Pools and Spas, 224 Augusta Road in Winslow. Northeast Labs, 227 China Road in Winslow. Kennebec Valley Community College, Western Avenue in Fairfield. Central Main Motors Auto Group, 420 Kennedy Drive and 15 Airport Road in Waterville. Uncle Dean's Natural Market, Grove Street in Waterville. Tanya's Tips and Trims, 27 Main Street in Fairfield. Dixon's Country Market on the Neck Road in Benton. Assistance plus home behavioral care, uh, health care, I should say, developmental services located in Waterville and Benton. We also, I uh, want to remind you that Assistance Plus has immediate openings in Kennebec and Somerset counties for personal support specialists, certified nursing assistants, and direct support specialists. Apply online at assistanceplus.com. And Dave Santone of Santone, Inc., a 
local nonprofit youth athletic organization. We'd like to thank all the seniors for sharing their talents with the community all of these years and wishing them luck in the future. Big game today for both teams. Uh, Coney comes in 6-8 and eight on the season, uh, number 8 in Class A North. Now, uh, Lawrence is Class B, so the points won't be as, the heel points won't, heel points won't be as uh, big for, uh, uh, for Coney as they will be for Lawrence, if Lawrence can get a win. Uh, right now, uh, Coney is, like I said, is eighth, but they are basically uh, in a, almost a virtual tie with Edward Little for seventh. Doesn't look like they can get up as si far as six because they're uh, uh, about 20 points behind Lewiston. But uh, with a win here and, uh, you know, as they close out the season, they also have, let's see, I'm pulling up their schedule right now. Um, they have uh, uh, Gardner um, will be their final game of the season. Um, they are Class B as well, so not as many heel points for them. Uh, but um, they beat uh, Lawrence 5-2 to two earlier in the season. Uh, they have some uh, pretty good wins on their schedule. Uh, they've beaten, uh, well, they, they got blown out by Oxford Hills. Uh, but they have uh, uh, beaten, like I said, Lawrence. They beat Gardner. Uh, they beat Bangor 8-3. to three, And Bangor beat Oxford Hills earlier in the season. So, uh, so that is a big win for them. Um, and uh, actually beat Bangor twice. They beat them two to one and eight to three. So two big wins uh, over Bangor, which is number three in uh, Class A uh, East right now. There's 13 teams. I'm sorry in North uh, A. So probably what's going to happen is Oxford Hills will get a bye in the first round, and then uh, two will play 13, three will play 12, and on. Uh, so probably Coney's going to be looking at going on the road unless they can jump up over Edward Little for. Uh, your hometown team, Lawrence Bulldogs, they come in at number two in uh, uh, Class B North. They are nine and four on the season. Uh, they're going to start with uh, uh, Hayden Lee on the mound. Uh, he is uh, scheduled to pitch five to seven innings, um, depending on uh, how many pitches uh, he uh, gives, uh, he takes I or throws, I should say. Um, like I said, Lawrence is number two in uh, Class B. No way to jump up to number one as Old Town has about a 40-point lead on uh, on Lawrence. Uh, but you can uh, Lawrence could dip below two because uh, they're pretty close with Ellsworth, who's 10 and four, 10 and five on the season. There at 104 heel points, Lawrence at 110, Belfast at 103. So uh, uh, really going to be important here to get a win at least in one of these last two games uh, for Lawrence. Uh, they've got Erskine uh, coming out tomorrow, which closes out the regular season. And right now Erskine, uh, let's see, they are number seven in uh, Class A South. Uh, sorry, Class B South, so definitely worth some heel points there. So your starting lineup for the Coney Rams, uh, they will lead off with Kevin Dovin playing first base. Isaac Gammon will be the shortstop. Eli Ravanson will be the left fielder. Kyle Dewan will bat cleanup and be the pitcher. Bobby Stolt will be the DH. He'll be hitting for Aiden Fleck, the catcher. Uh, Braden Barbeau will play center field and bat sixth. Sam Flannery will be in right, batting seventh. James Presty will be at third, batting eighth. And Davis Kibler will be batting ninth, uh, playing second base. For the uh, Bulldogs, defensively, uh, they will line up like this. Uh, first base will be Ryan Bork, second base Zach Nickerson. Shortstop uh, will be Dylan Coombs. And I'm looking at the third baseman. Is that Hayden Lee? Uh, not Hayden Lee, but uh, Hunter Lee? Because he has... Carter Nutting is the third baseman. I can't tell. Uh, anyways, uh, left field, Johnny Roy. Center field, Andrew Trombley. Right field, Nate Garrard. Catching uh, will be Matt Trombley. And on the mound, like I said, Hayden Lee. Uh, had a good outing the last time uh, he was out. Uh, I believe he pitched the last time, last game we broadcast. Wasn't it, Brian? Um 
ran into trouble against Waterville in the sixth inning uh, and had to have had to get some help um, from uh, uh, Logan Carpenter out of the bullpen. He was able to come in and close things out and give Lawrence that six to five win. Trombley throws down, and we're just about ready to get this one going. That is Connor Nutting playing third. My apology. Leading off, batting from the left side, Cam Dovin, the first baseman. Lee gets the sign. Kicks and delivers. A pie ball one. Here comes the 1 0. There's a strike right down the middle. As I said, Coney beat Lawrence 5 to 2 earlier in the season. Uh, a little off speed pitch. 1 and 2 the count. Of course, we had the. Uh, they had a scrimmage doubleheader that Lawrence took both games of uh, before the season began. So very evenly matched clubs here. There's a breaking pitch that breaks outside. Two and two the count, just underway. Coney and Lawrence. Inside, he just missed. Three and two, Lee wanted that one. Dovin digs in. Here comes the 3-2. Fouled off. Left side, not a play. Isaac Gammon, the shortstop, waiting on deck. Beautiful day here for baseball. Baseball been very, very good to me. He got him looking. <laughs> Pulled the string on that one, and uh, Cam Dovin was frozen. First out. Here comes Gammon. I think Dovin was probably looking fastball there, and Aiden Lee delivered a little, a little wiggle to it. One out. Nobody on. There's a line drive down the right field line. If it stays fair, it's going to be trouble, and it gets fouled. Short porch there down the right field line, only 310 to the corner, 325 to the uh, right uh, left field corner. Lee kicks and deals on the 0-1. Breaking ball into the gap. Gerard on the run and makes a nice play. He was playing him after that ball went down into the corner. He, he was playing Gammon uh, kind of over to go the other way, kind of on the line. So he had he got a good jump on it. And there are two outs. Here's Revanson, the left fielder. Gets the sign, digs in. Lee's first pitch. Down and away, ball one. It's a ground ball. Slowly hit. Coombs comes up with it. Throws across his body and gets him. End of a half inning. No score. Back after this.
Welcome back to Kai's Field. Rick Dougal, Brian Bork. No scores. We go to the bottom of the first. Lawrence. Lineup will go like this. Dylan Coombs will lead off. Ryan Bork batting second. Zach Nickerson third. Nate Garrard will hit cleanup. Andrew Trombley will be fifth. Matt Trombley sixth. Hayden Lee will bat seventh. And John Roy will bat eighth. Parker Higgins will be the DH and he'll be hitting for Connor Nutting. Wilconi defensively. They will have Cam Dovin at first base. Second base, Davis Kibler. Shortstop, Isaac Gammon. Third base, James Presti. In left field, Eli Ravanson. Center field, Brandon Barbeau. Right field, they will have Sam Flannery. Catching Aiden Fleck. And on the mound, Kyle Dewan. Doing one of those uh, pitchers that always works from the from the stretch. Assistance Plus has immediate openings in Kennebec and Somerset counties for personal support specialists, certified nursing assistants, and direct support specialists. Supply online at assistanceplus.com. Coombs will lead it off for Lawrence. He's had a good year hitting the ball well. Struggled a little bit defensively. But if he gets on base, it's almost like a double. As, uh, I don't think I've seen him get caught stealing yet. Dewan comes to the set. Here comes the first pitch down and away. Ball one. Here comes the 1 0. Strike. Doing gets a sign. 1 1. Here it comes. A little curveball. Good cut by Coombs. Ryan Bork on deck. One and two. Dewan comes to the belt. Kicks and deals. Curveball up and away. Two and two. Here comes the two two. Way up. Three and two. Good work by Coombs to be patient and get the count back in his favor. Dewan seems to be overthrowing on that fastball a little bit. Here comes the 3-2. Down and away, ball four. And the leadoff man is on for the Bulldogs. We'll see if Coach uh, Rusty Mercier wants to play a little small ball here or if he uh, wants to turn Coombs loose on a steal. Bork digs in. Good lead by Coombs. Here comes. Down and away. Good stop by Good. Gets away though. And Coombs, very fleet of foot, able to get down. That will be a wild pitch. Running our runner in scoring position now. Outfield a little bit over to the right on Bork. Here comes the 1-0. Up and away, ball two. All kinds of room down the left field line. If uh, Ryan Bork's able to pull one down the line, he'll be running for a while. Here comes the 2-0. There's a strike. Two and one the count. Nobody out. Coombs at second. Bottom of the first. No score. Here comes the 2 1. Outside 3 and 1. Good hitters count here. Brian Bork can really sit on a pitch. Do 
Goodwin comes to the belt. Oh, he throws. Throws it into center field. And they're going to hold him. Uh, boy, it looked like they do and thought they had the pickoff move on, and nobody went over. So a wild pitch and an error on the pitcher puts Coombs at third with nobody out. Here comes the 3 1. Strike. Doing gets the sign. Bork digs in. Doing comes to the belt. Throw over to third. And Coombs is in back in easily. Here comes the three two. Swing and a miss. He got him. Tough pitch down and away. And one out for Nickerson. One out. Coombs at third. No score. Dewan comes to the belt. Up high and inside one and oh. Dickerson's had a strong year here. I know he's hit at least one home run here home. It's at two. One at Meso. One, yeah, one at Mesolonsky. Mr. Bork is uh, cluing me in. He's got the power. Only needs a base hit right now, though. Outside, 2 0. 3 0, actually. Doing, throwing hard, but location not so good. First and third, you know what Coach Rusty Mercia likes to do here. Garrard is the hitter. Garrard's had some key hits here over the last few games. Two out base hits to drive in a run. The only one out here. Coney had double play depth in the infield. threw that away. Boy, Doohan really likes to throw the ball around. <laughs> I don't know if the first baseman there uh, was uh, ready for that one. That's a strike. So important to start these hitters off with strikes. You know, the pitchers that, that do well uh, at this level, at any level, um, you know, are Pitching from ahead. Here comes the 0-1. Tried another fake. It was going to go to first and fake that one too. 0-1-1 to Garrard. Down and away. and That one got away from the catcher. We'll call that one a pass ball. Nickerson down at second now. Two runners in scoring position. Foul straight back by Garrard. One and two. Two ducks on the pond going quack, quack, quack. Can Garrard deliver? On deck, Andrew Trombley. One and two. Here it comes. Way up. Two and two. That's the final regular season game tomorrow against Erskine, right back here at 4 o'clock. Senior night here as well. Comes the 2-2. Fouled out of play. Garrard, kind of a defensive swing there. And then we'll have to wait and see. I know Lawrence will at least have one home playoff game as they, they should finish in the top three. Here it comes. That one's lifted to right field. Coombs is tagging. Right fielder makes the play. Coombs is going to come in. Oh, no, I guess he didn't make the play. Actually, probably a smart play there as uh, 
Coombs he's, scores easily on that play. Two and two. The count. One out. Bottom of the first. Nickerson at second. Coombs at third. Garrard choking up. He's trying to make contact here. Ground ball to the right side. Scores a run. Here it comes. Ground ball up the middle. Shortstop fields it. Throws. Nice scoop at first. The Nickers, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Coombs will score the first run of the game. So now it's up to Trombley. With Nickerson at third. Two outs. There's a strike. Lawrence has had a penchant for delivering on these two out scoring position situations. There's a ground ball right back to Dewan. And he throws to first. The end of no hits, a run. And one left on base. one nothing Lawrence after one. Any commercial use, rebroadcast, retransmission, or distribution of the following presentation without the express written consent of Epic View Studios is strictly prohibited. Today's high school baseball action is sponsored by the following local sponsors. Sonny's Pizza, Main Street, Fairfield. Fresh dough, better pizza, 453-7624. By Aquarius Pool and Spa, 224 Augusta Road in Winslow. You deserve this, 8725827. By Northeast Labs, 227 China Road in Winslow. Maine's largest laboratory services provider, 8737711. By Kennebec Valley Community College, 92 Western Avenue, Fairfield. Start here, go anywhere, 453-5000. And by Central Maine Motors Auto Group in Waterville. Come get your keys at the place with no dock fees, where cars and trucks always cost you less. By Uncle Dean's Natural Market, 80 Grove Street in Waterville. Eat well, live well. 8736231. By Tanya's Tips and Trims, 27 Main Street, Fairfield. A full service salon and spa for all your beauty needs. 453 1776. By Kennebec Equipment Run. Welcome back to Kai's Field. Rick Dougal, Brian Bork, 1 0 Lawrence. The end of one. And uh, Coney will have Kyle Dewan, Bobby Stolt, and Brandon Barbeau to face Hayden Lee. There's a line drive right at oh, right at Bork. Boy, I thought he had, thought he had it. Must have skipped over his glove. The ball was roped. First hit of the game. Throw over. Diving back in is doing Bobby Stolt, the DH, is hitting for Fleck, Aiden Fleck, the catcher. Ball up, up and in. Big lead over there for Dewan. Lee checks the runner, comes to the belt. Throws over. Boy, Adam leaning. Big lead over there for Dewan. Has the pitch. Has a strike. One and one to Stolt. A great baseball name, Bobby Stolt. There he goes. That ball is hit to left field. Roy camps under it and makes the play. The runner will go back to first. Brandon Barbeau, the center fielder. What a healthy dose of lefties here for uh, Coach Don Ployd's Coney Rams. J 
just low. Ball one. Ooh, they almost had him. Well, he's getting like a walking lead, and, um, you know, if Lee doesn't look over there, he just keeps going. Big lead over there for doing. There he goes. Throw down. And he's going to be in there. Stolen base for Kyle Dewan. And the tying run is at second. 2-0 to Barbeau. Good hitters count here. Lee fires. It's a ground ball in the hole. Got to get there. And not able to get there as uh, Lee was late getting off the mound. Good job by Bork to range over and make the play. But uh, we're going to have to give him a hit on that. Another hit. Brandon Barbeau. And Dewan moves up to third. One out, first and third for Sam Flannery, the right fielder. There he goes. They throw down to the shortstop, Coombs. I'm going to call that defensive indifference because uh, they really didn't even make an attempt to get him. Has a strike. One and one to count. Oh, it's 0 and 2, actually. I'm sorry. Could really use a strikeout here. Swing and a miss. He got him. Nice. Second strikeout of the game for Lee. Again, he pulled the string there. Here's James Presty, the third baseman. Oh, I hit him. It was a breaking ball that got away from, from Hayden Lee. So now bases loaded for Davis Kibler, the second baseman. Another lefty. This is the first uh, game that I've done this year. It had multiple left-handed hitters. Swing and a miss. Let's see what Hayden Lee can do with some trouble. Bear down and get some outs. Got two outs. Bases loaded. one nothing Lawrence. Swing and a miss. Lee just challenging Kibler. Comes to the belt. Here comes the 0-2. Swing and a miss. He got him. Leaves the bases loaded. At the end of one and a half, one nothing Lawrence back after this. Any commercial use, rebroadcast, retransmission, or distribution of the following presentation without the express written consent of Epic View Studios is strictly prohibited. Today's high school baseball action is sponsored by the following local sponsors. Sonny's Pizza Main Street Fairfield Fresh Dough Better Pizza 4537624. By Aquarius Pool and Spa, 224 Augusta Road in Winslow. You deserve this. 8725827. By Northeast Labs, 227 China Road in Winslow. Maine's largest laboratory services provider. 8737711. By Kennebec Valley Community College, 92 Western Avenue, Fairfield. Start here. Go anywhere. 453-5000. And by Central Maine Motors Auto Group in Waterville, come get your keys at the place with no dock fees, where cars and trucks always cost you less. By Uncle Dean's Natural Market, 80 Grove Street in Waterville. Eat well, live well. 8736231. Welcome back to Kai's Field, Rick Dougal. Brian Bork. Bottom of the second inning. Lawrence will have Matt Trombley, Hayden Lee, and John Roy to face Dewan. Kyle Dewan, who uh, gave up a run last inning without without a hit. Uh, two walks, uh, an error, and a 
Fielder's choice. Played it a run for the Bulldogs. Trombley the catcher. Digs in. There's a foul out of play. Own one. Strike on the outside corner. Doing, starting to throw more strikes now. Here it comes. Got him looking. Well, you could tell Trombley was like, uh, I should have swung at that. <laughs> now, sometimes you're looking for a breaking ball and you get a fastball and it freezes you. Here's the pitcher, Hayden Lee. One out. Dewan comes to the belt. There's a strike. Here comes the 0 1. 0 2. Last inning, he couldn't throw strikes. This one, this inning, nothing but strikes. Here comes the 0 2. Up and up. Up and away, one and two. Johnny Roy, the left fielder on deck. Swing and a miss. Two down to John Roy. Parker Higgins, the DH, will bat if Roy can get on. Dewan comes to the belt. Kicks and deals down in the dirt. Here comes the 1 0. Swing and a miss. Doing just challenging these Lawrence hitters. It's, I'm going to throw you some cheese and see what you could do with it. Here comes the 1 1. Up. 2 and 1. That's one thing you can tell the mechanics on pitching. Pitchers is uh, when they're leaving the ball up like that, they're either tired or they're not following all the way through. Now, obviously, Doing isn't tired, it's only the second inning. So he's got to follow through just a little bit better. One nothing, Lawrence. Two outs here in the second. Here it comes. There's a swing. I mean, there's a strike. Swing and a miss. Two and two. <clears throat> It's a foul, straight back. John Roy stays alive. Two's a wild, second inning, two and two, two outs. Here comes, curveball, oh, got him. Doing strikes out the side at the end of uh, one and a half. I'm sorry, at the end of two. One nothing Lawrence back after this.
Welcome back to Kai's Field. Rick Dougal, Brian Bork, one nothing, Lawrence. As we go to the top of the third, Coney will have the top of the order. Cam Dovin, Isaac Gammon, and Eli Ravanson to face Hayden Lee. Lee worked around some trouble last inning. Two hits, bases loaded, was able to uh, strike out Kibler with the bases loaded. Dovin was a strikeout victim back in the first. There's a strike. There's a line drive down the line. It's fair. It gets into the corner. Dovin going to dig for second. And he's going to be in there with a double. Third hit of the game for Coney. Gammon flew out uh, to Grard in the first. Ball away. Hit him. Second hit batsman of the game for Lee. So Coney has something going here in the third with runs at first and second, nobody out. The meat of the lineup coming up. Lee comes to the stretch. Looks back. And back in easily is Dovin. Strike outside corner. Tough pitch there. Ravanson grounded out to the third baseman his first time up. Hit him again. Woo, Hayden Lee with his third hit by pitch. And Kyle Dewan, who singled, stole the base last inning and was stranded at third. Bases loaded, nobody out. And... Coach Rusty Mercer wants to chat about it. Dave Santone of Santone Inc., a local nonprofit youth organization, athletic organization, would like to thank all of the seniors for sharing their talents with the community all of these years and wishing them luck in the future. Also, Assistant Plus has immediate openings in Kennebec and Somerset counties for personal support specialists, certified nursing assistants, and direct support specialists. Apply online at assistanceplus.com. I want to thank all of our local sponsors that we've had during baseball season, basketball season, and uh, uh, want to remind you that if you would like to get involved um, and have a uh, marketing plan put together by our marketing guru, uh, Mr. Brian Bork. All you got to do is email him at, uh, uh, trying to remember what it is, epicview at yahoo.com. That's epicvue at yahoo.com. Breaking ball, ooh, looked like that was in there, but outside ball one. Bases loaded here for doing. Chance to help himself out. Here comes. Outside ball two. No place to put him now. Hayden Lee going to have to bear down. 2-0. and oh. Ball three. Well, Lee really uh, um, featuring the breaking ball today. Here comes the 3-0. There's a strike. 
Three and one to do one. Ball four, he walked him. Tying run will score. Nobody out. Base is still loaded. Bobby Stolt flew out to the left fielder his first time up. There's a one hopper. They tag a runner. Throw to first, double play. Good play by Coombs. Uh, he forgot that there was no outs, so there's two outs. A run does score on the uh, fielder's choice, but a really good strong play there by Coombs. Here's Barbeau. He singled his first time up as a strike. Two runs in. Coney leads two to one. Swing and a miss. It's a fly ball to Gerard right there. Two runs on just one hit, a couple of hit batsmen, and they leave one runner stranded. At the end of two and a half, two to one, Coney. Tanya's Tips and Trims, 27 Main Street, Fairfield. A full-service salon and spa for all your beauty needs. 453-1776. By Kennebec Equipment Rental, 19 Skowhegan Road, Fairfield. Quality rental equipment and sales since 1964. 453-9351. By Dixon's Country Market on the Neck Road in Benton. Groceries, cold beer, propane, gas, and more. 453-9547. By Ming Lee Chinese Restaurant, 365 Main Street, Waterville. Voted the best of the best for 15 years. 873-2828. Prime Financial on the West River Road in Waterville, helping Maine families pursue their retirement goals through planning and investment management. Call today, 877-9450. Ready to grow your business? Place your business ad here. Email Epic View Studios and Marketing at epicview at yahoo.com. Welcome back to Kai's Field. Rick Dougal, Brian Bort, 2-1. to one. Coney with the lead. And Lawrence will have Parker Higgins, Dylan Coombs, and Ryan Bort to face Kyle Dewan. Struck out the side last inning. He's got four strikeouts in the game. Yet to give up a hit. Here as we go to the third. Bottom of the third, I should say. Um... The only run that Lawrence has uh, scored um, on an error. I'm sorry, scored on a fielder's choice. Coombs led off with a walk, went to second on a wild pitch, went to third on an error, and then scored on the fielder's choice ground out by Garrard. There's the first pitch strike. Doing come set. Kicks and deals. Strike two. Here comes the 0-2. Got him looking. Fourth strikeout in a row for Dewan. And Coombs will be the hitter. As I said, he walked in the first inning. Went to second on a wild pitch, went to third on an error by the pitcher, and then scored on the field's choice. Down and away, ball one. Ball two. Coombs made a nice play last inning to really minimize the damage. Um, you know, a uh, very smart play where he tagged the runner going to third and then threw to first for a double play. 
There's a, ooh, I was just going to say there's a strike, but I guess not. <coughs> um, so, uh, a very heady play by Coombs, 3-0. and There's a strike. Outside corner. Because the umpire is still umping from behind the pitcher. Which is uh, still a little strange to watch. Swing and a miss. Coombs not even close to that heater. Probably was ball four up and away. Three and two. The count. Swing and a miss. He got him. Sixth strikeout of the game for Dewan in fifth in a row. Bork is the hitter. He struck out his first time up. There's a strike. Here comes the 0 1. Swing and a miss. Doing just challenging these Lawrence hitters. 0-1-2 the count. Foul straight back. As it hit the catcher in the face. Yeah. The catcher went straight off his mask. He's trying to shake it off. Andrew Fleck. Coney coach having a chat with him to make sure he's okay. Just got a piece of that one, did Ryan Bork. Two strikes, two outs here in the third. Lawrence trails two to one. Doing about to strike out the side. If we can't get a hit here, there's a pop up. Third baseman ranges over and makes the play right against the fence. So no runs, uh, no hits, nobody left on. After three, two to one, Coney. Welcome back to Kai's Field. Two to one. Coney with the lead. As we go to the fourth inning, Sam Flannery will lead it off. And uh, Pres James Presti on deck and Davis Kibler will hit third here against Mr. Hayden Lee. Down and away, ball one. Hayden Lee really struggling uh, with. His control here, not with a lot of walks, but three hit by pitch. Three batters hit so far in the game. Ball away, 2-0. And, oh. and well, that didn't help batters last inning. Uh, one of those uh, hit by pitch batters uh, scored. 
as a strike, two and one. Lee gets a sign, kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Two and two the count. Flannery struck out his first time up. Here comes the 2-2. Two -two. There's a fly ball down the left field line. It's going to get out of play. Flannery a little out front on that one. Two and two the count. Here it comes. Little grounder. Tough play. Nutting gets it in time. Good play by Connor Nutting. Stayed with it. Boy, that was a really tough play. He was able to stay with it to get the first out. Those slow rollers, you never know. Actually, Hayden Lee tried to make a play for it, but he had fallen off the mound the other side, so he wasn't able to get over. Here's James Presti, the third baseman. He was hit by a pitch back in the second inning. As a strike. Presti, the third baseman today. Is the 01. So foul straight back right here. Almost up in the booth. Right at right at Brian's uh, new cameras. <laughs> right ahead of window uh, fatality here. We walked into. 0-1-2 the count. Hit him again. Oh, he leaned into it. Oh, wow. So the umpire said he leaned into it, and he's not supposed to do that, but he said just to, it's a ball, so it's not a hit-by-pitch. Here's the one-two. Ground ball, right side. Nickerson up with it, throws the first, got him. Good range there by Nickerson and two quick outs. Davis Kibler will be the hitter. He struck out with the bases loaded in the first inning. Not uh, second inning, I'm sorry. Two to one Coney. Top of the fourth. Outside, ball one. Beautiful day for baseball here at Kai's Field. As a strike. This, as I said, tomorrow will be the final regular season game. Erskine comes to town. Senior night. There's a foul. Straight uh, gets out of play. That's a lot of seniors uh, to talk about. I know Coombs, Bork, Nickerson. Um, Johnny Roy. Johnny Roy. Lee is a junior, right? Oh, he is? Okay. Oh, a lot of seniors on this club. It's a fly ball to right field. Garad back and makes the play. No runs, no hits, nobody left on. The end of three and a half, two to one, Coney. Did you know that Americans spend 90% of their time indoors? This poses the question, how safe is the air and water in my home? Northeast Laboratory Services is a fully accredited veteran-owned laboratory with two convenient locations in Westbrook and Winslow, Maine. Northeast Labs has all your environmental testing services covered, including water quality, lead, radon, mold, and asbestos. Convenient kits make testing your home easy. Stop by one of their locations and pick up a collection kit for free or order one online at anylabservices.com. For exceptional customer service and knowledgeable analysts ready to assist with any questions, call Northeast Labs today to find out how they can provide answers for a healthier environment for you and your business. Life is complicated enough. 
Welcome back to Kai's Field, 2-1. to one. Lawrence trails as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Zach Nickerson, Nate Garrard, and Andrew Trombley to face Kyle Dewan, who is sailing along right now. He's struck out five of the last six batters that he's faced, and he has yet to give up a hit. Nickerson uh, walked his first time up and was stranded at second base, actually stranded at third base. Um, in that first inning. Ball inside. Here comes the 1-0. Ball outside. Doing has been up and down the whole game. Uh, you know, either started out way ahead of hitters or he's gotten way behind to start out. There's a strike. He has been popping the mitt all day, though. Two and one the count to Nickerson. Down and away, three and one. Great hitter's count here. Nickerson can just sit on his pitch. Doing to the belt. Kicks and deals. The foul straight back. Nickerson right on that fastball. Outfield playing him around a little bit to the right. Ball four down low. Lawrence with the leadoff hitter on. Revance in the left fielder really playing these Lawrence hitters to go the other way. They're able to pull anything down the third base line. They'll be standing on third. There's a strike. Owen won the count. Nickerson on at first. Strike two. Ooh, that looked a little high. Garrard didn't like it either. Owen two quickly to Nate Garrard, the cleanup hitter. Nickerson almost caught napping over there. Quick throw over by Dewan. Good play by Dovin, the first baseman. Here comes the 0-2. Nickerson goes. Throw down is not going to be in time. Stolen base. Tying run. Sits on second. One and two the count. Here it comes. Curve ball, he got him. Oh, froze Gerard. Seventh strikeout of the game for Dewan. Here's Andrew Trombley. He grounded out to Dewan his first time up, leaving uh, Nickerson at third in the first inning. There's a foul back. Matt Trombley, the catcher, on deck. Ball down and away. One and one. <coughs> Coney leads two to one. Bottom of the fourth. Nickerson on at second with the tying run. Swing and a miss up around his eyeballs. Trombley going for the downs on that one. One and two the count. Doing fires. A little slow roller down the third baseline. Scooped up fair. He scooped it up right on the line and uh, really should have just let it go because it was starting to go foul. 
as uh, James Presti came up and made the play. Actually, no, I'm sorry, a new player in there for Coney. It looks like Bobby Stult has gone to third base. Must have made some changes I was not aware of. So that's a hit for Trombley. And Nickerson moves up to third. It'll bring up Matt Trombley. He struck out his first time up. Started a four strikeout in a row parade for Mr. Dewan. Takes off. Nickerson going to take off for the plate. And he's going to be out. Oh, what a great, great throw by the shortstop there. Um, Isaac Gammon as he... Caught the ball from the pitcher and then spun right around and threw a strike to uh, Aiden Fleck, who put a good tag. It looked like Nickerson might have got under it, but um, the umpire is right there. Called him out. So that will be one to six to two. Caught stealing. So now two outs. Trombley at second. Still the tying run in scoring position. Matt Trombley the hitter. Ball down and away. <coughs> One and oh the count. Two outs. Tying run at second. Swing and a miss up in his eyeballs. Don't need to be helping uh, Dewan out. He can strike you out on his own. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Oh, he fakes. Nobody there. Last time he did that, he threw it in center field. Pretty good lead by Trombley. Down and away, two and one. It's like Dewan is getting stronger as the game goes on. Popping the bit. There's a strike. Two and two, the count. Two outs. Andrew Trombley on second is the tying run. Here comes the 2 2. Nope, doing steps off. Doing gets the sign. Big lead at second. Trombley. Throws down there and Trombley in back in easily. Two and two. Here it comes. Curveball. A little roller to the shortstop. Up with it and he gets him by a step and a half. So one runner left on base. One hit. No runs. We go to the Top of the fifth, two to one, Coney. Let's get back to the basics. Starting with what we eat. Healthy food sustains, nourishes, and fuels our bodies and minds. We understand that your food choices really do matter, and we're here to help. No preservatives, no artificial flavors or ingredients. Just wholesome, real food. From the farm to your table. Food the way it should be. Eat well, live well. Uncle Dean's Natural Market. Isn't even the catcher's not even out yet. Oh, I guess we're back on. Welcome back to Kai's Field, Rick Dougal, Brian Bort. We go to the top of the fifth inning, and Coney will have their leadoff. Hitter Cam Dovin, top of the order. Dovin, Gammon, and Ravanson to face Hayden Lee. Lee uh, has given up two runs. Um, 
It's only given up uh, three, let's see, uh, just three hits, I believe. Uh, one, two, actually two hits. Dovin has struck out and doubled and scored a run back in the two-run third. It gave Coney the two-to-one lead. And Gammon will be up next has uh, flown out and was hit by a pitch. And then Ravanson was also hit by a pitch. Interesting last inning. Um, James Presty thought he got hit by a pitch, but uh, he leaned into it, the umpire said. and uh, That has a, happened a couple of times at uh, on these hit by pitches by Hayden Lee, they're kind of leaning in or, you know, try, what, hey, get on base any way you can, right? Hey, Top of the fifth as Dovin leads it off for Coney. Down low, ball one. Here comes the 1 0. 2 0. Assistance Plus is immediate openings in Kennebec and Somerset counties for personal support specialists, certified nursing assistants, and direct support specialists. Apply online at assistanceplus.com. There's a strike. 2 and 1 as the uh, scoreboard comes back to life. 2 to 1, Coney, top of the fifth. He hold up. He did. 3 and 1. Those pitches up around the eyeballs are so tempting for the hitter. Lee with the 3-1. There's a strike. Grooves one in there. Three and two now to Dovin. Here it is. Outside, ball four. The second walk given up by Hunter Lee. Here's Gammon, the shortstop. He flew out to the right fielder in the first inning and then was hit by a pitch in the third and scored the now lead run as Coney leads 2-1. to one. Lee makes a move over and diving back in is Dovin. There's a pop-up. Bort gives chase. And going to be out of play. <sighs> Top of the fifth, nobody out. Dovin with a leadoff walk. One and one the count. Or oh one, I should say. Bork. Made a nice play to stop that. If that's a good throw, they get him. They pick him off. There's a swing and a miss. 0-1-2 the count to Gammon. Here it comes. Down and away, 1-2. Big lead for Dovin at first. One and two the count. Down and away, two and two. Hunter Lee comes to the stretch. It's a line drive to center field. Trombley drifts back and makes a play. Sorry, Hayden Lee, not Hunter Lee. And there's one out. Ravanson grounded out to short. And was hit by a pitch back in the third. There's a strike down and away. 
that's a tough, tough pitch to hit, boy. Fenter Lee can, I'm sorry, Hayden Lee can keep hitting that spot. That's going to be tough to hit. Runner goes. Trombley with the throw down. He got him. A great tag by uh, um, Nickerson as well. A quick tag. And there are two outs. Nobody on. Or Vanson with two strikes on him. This one's down and away. One and two the count. Two outs. Top of the fifth. Two to one. Coney with the lead. Curveball stays high. Two and two. Lee gets the sign. Kicks and deals. It's a line drive base hit up the middle. So two outs. Runner on. And it's up to Kyle Dewan. Dewan has a single. Stolen base. Was stranded at third in the second inning. And in the third inning he walked. Uh, which drove in a run, drove in the first Coney run. First pitch, ball one. Two outs, Ravanson on it second, uh, on it first, I'm sorry. There's a curve ball, hit foul. Aiden Lee comes with a 1-1. One, one. It's outside 2-1. and one. Down and in. 3-1. and one. On deck the cleanup. I'm sorry, on deck Bobby Stolt. Doing's a cleanup hitter. Here comes the 3 1. Curveball. <laughs> Dewan was looking to deposit one down on the uh, soccer field. Kind of a hanging curveball there by Hayden. Lee got away with one. 3 and 2. Runner will be going. This one is hit to left field. Roy got a late jump on it going back and makes the play. Good recovery there by John Roy. So Hayden Lee able to work around a, a single and a walk, no runs, one runner left on. The end of four and a half, two to one Coney. The Central Maine Motors Auto Group wants to buy your vehicle. Come into any Central Maine Motors Auto Group dealership in Waterville and get the most for your car, truck, SUV, or crossover, whether you're trading it towards a new one or not. Selling it online yourself can be a hassle. Or worse, the used car business has never been better at Central Maine Motors Auto Group, and they want to add your vehicle to their inventory. If you're unhappy with your trade-in offer from another dealer, give Central Maine Motors Auto Group a call, and you could get more money for your vehicle with no purchase necessary. Call Call 872-5591 to speak with used car specialists Mike Lambert, Dan Seegers, or Wendy Voter. 872-5591. The Central Maine Motors Auto Group is buying used vehicles. Come into any of their three locations. Central Maine Toyota at 15 Airport Road, right behind Central Maine Motors Chevy Buick 420 Kennedy Memorial Drive, and Central Maine Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat 300 Kennedy Memorial Drive in Waterville. Online at cmautogroup.com. Ready to grow your business? Place your business ad here. Email Epic View Studios and Marketing at epicview at yahoo.com. Welcome back to Kai's Field. Rick Dougal, Brian Bork, 2-1. to one. Coney in the lead. As we go to the bottom of the fifth, Hayden Lee, John Roy, and Parker Higgins to face Kyle Dewan, who gave up a hit last inning. He's only given up one hit uh, and has seven strikeouts in the game. Uh, 
Lee struck out his first time up. There's a line drive. Base hit to right center field. They try to throw him out at first as the center fielder was playing very shallow, but he's safe. Lee starts the Lawrence fifth with a line drive base hit. He's the tying run. John Roy struck out his first time up. Lee with a very short lead over there. Roy squares around to Bunt. Coach Rusty Mercer really likes his small ball. He does a great job coaching it. And throw over. It's one thing Kyle Dewan has done a good job of in this game is really keeping runners honest. You really can't time them up as uh, he's been very good at keeping the runners on, uh, close on base, I should say. Foul straight back. 0-1-1 the count. And he tried to bunt. Tried to bunt for a hit there. Again, the outfield, Coney outfield playing way around to the right. The left fielder is in really left center field. Uh, anyone from Lawrence is able to pull one down the line. They'll be running for a while. Because Dewan throws hard, so they're counting on him to not allow any pull hits. Swing and a miss. Roy goes down on strikes. Parker Higgins, the DH, he struck out his first time up. One out. Hayden Lee at first. He's the tying run. As a strike. He's literally one step off of first base. <laughs> and they're throwing over. Hayden Lee's diving back in. Try to bunt it. Popped up. Oh! The catcher almost made a fleck, almost made a great recovery there as he uh, turned around and the ball just missed his mitt. So, Owen to the count to Parker Higgins. Doan comes to the belt. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Ninth strikeout of the game, and it's up to Coombs. Coombs has reached on an error. I'm sorry, walked uh, and scored on a uh, fielder's choice back in the first. He scored the only Lawrence run, and he struck out in the third. Ball outside. He can keep it going. Ryan Bork will be next. 1 0 the count. There's a pop up. And Dewan is calling everybody off, and he makes the play to end the inning. One hit, one runner left on base, no runs. We go to the top of the sixth. 2 to 1, Lawrence. Any commercial use, rebroadcast, retransmission, or distribution of the following presentation without the express written consent of Epic View Studios is strictly prohibited. Today's high school baseball action is sponsored by the following local sponsors. Sonny's Pizza, Main Street, Fairfield, Fresh Dough, Better Pizza, 4537624. By Aquarius Pool and Spa, 224 Augusta Road in Winslow. You deserve this. 8725827. By Northeast Labs, 227 China Road in Winslow. 
Maine's largest laboratory services provider, 8737711. By Kennebec Valley Community College, 92 Western Avenue, Fairfield. Start here, go anywhere. 453 5000. And by Central Maine Motors Auto Group in Waterville. Come get your keys at the place with no dock fees, where cars and trucks always cost you less. By Uncle Dean's Natural Market, 80 Grove Street in Waterville. Eat well, live well. 8736231. By Tanya's Tips and Trims, 27 Main Street Fairfield. A full service salon and spa for all your beauty needs. 453 1776. By Kennebec Equipment Rental, 19 Skowhegan Road, Fairfield. Quality rental equipment and sales since 1964. 453 9351. Welcome back to Kai's Field. 2-1 Coney as we go to the top of the sixth. The Rams will have Bobby Stelt, Brandon Barbeau, and Sam Flannery to face Hayden Lee. Lee gave up two runs back in the third as a ball. Up and in. Stelt flew out to the left fielder as a Couple hopper to Coombs at short. Coombs guns to first and he's out. Coombs having a much better day at short than he did against Waterville the other day. Uh, just finished uh, thoughts on Stult. He also had a fielder's choice double play that he grounded into back in the third inning. Here's Barbeau who singled uh, back in the second and flew out to the right fielder in the third. It's a strike. Owen won the count. Here it comes. A little low. Ball one. Sam Flannery is on deck. There's a ball up and away. Two and one. Three and one the count. Here comes the three one. As a strike, three and two. Actually, on deck is Chris Hinckley, who uh, must have went in for Flannery. Ball away, and Barbeau will be on with a walk. Third walk of the game by Hayden Lee. Three strikeouts. Flannery struck out and grounded out his two times up. Let's see what uh, Hinkley does. They throw over. It gets away from Bork. The runner takes off. And Bork throws down, but not in time. second as a strike one out here in the sixth two to one Coney they would love to get a little cushion here going into the late innings there's a fly ball foul and out of play on deck James Presti the third baseman This one floats outside. One and two. <coughs> Can't tell if that's a curveball or if it's a, a uh, change up. 
Has a line drive into left center field. That's going to get down for a hit. Trombley's going to come up throwing, and it's going to be cut off by Bork, and in to score is Barbeau with the third Coney run. Oh, Hinkley comes off the bench to deliver a RBI single. Presti is the hitter. He was hit by a pitch back in the second and grounded out to Nickerson in the fourth. As a line drive to right field, and Gerard hustles over and gets it. Looking to go to third. Did they get him? Oh, it was close. What a heads-up play there by Coombs. They almost got um, Hinkley, who strayed a little too far from second base. He's on at second. And Presti with a single. So runners at first and second with one out. And it's Kibler, the second baseman. That one fouls it out of play. Kibler is struck out and flown out to right. Three to one Coney. Sixth inning. This one hangs outside. One and one. And it looks like uh, Flannery is going to go back in the game and run for uh, Hinkley. So Hinkley gets a hit for him, and now he gets to run for him. Two out, uh, sorry, one out, first and second. Strike. One and two. Lee throws it down and in. Nice play by Trombley. And it's two and two. Runners at first and second. One out. One run already in. Foul out of play. Two and two the count. Lee in the dirt. Three and two. Coach Mercer also has uh, Ben Ryder available and Logan Carpenter. Here comes the three two. A little foul at the plate. And Kibler stays alive. On deck, Cam Dovin. First baseman. Here comes the 3 2. Another foul at the plate as Kibler stays alive. Don't forget, tomorrow we'll be right back here at 4 o'clock for the final regular season game as Erskine comes to town take on the home team and it's senior night or senior afternoon I should say here's the 3 2 oh boy that looked good ball four so Kibler walks to load the bases Dovin who has struck out doubled and scored in the third and walked and was caught stealing in the fifth inning. And that's going to be all for Hayden Lee. We'll take a quick break and come back. Three to one, Coney. Back after this. Since Country Market on the Neck Road in Benton. Groceries, cold beer, propane, gas, and more. 453-9547. By Ming Lee Chinese Restaurant, 365 Main Street, Waterville. Voted the best of the best for 15 years. 873-2828. Prime Financial on the West River Road in Waterville. Helping Maine families pursue their retirement goals through planning and investment management. 
Call today, 877-9450. Ready to grow your business? Place your business ad here. Email Epic View Studios and Marketing at epicview at yahoo.com. Truth will break your chains, we have the key. Open your eyes and see. We are the ones who know the answers, and they ain't never gonna hold us back. Welcome back to Kai's Field. 3-1, to one, Coney. Here's the situation uh, coming into the game. Ben Ryder replacing uh, Hayden Lee. And he will inherit bases loaded. And the top of the order, Cam Dovin, uh, will be the hitter. As I said, Dovin uh, struck out in the first inning, doubled and scored in the third, and walked in the fifth and was caught stealing. Coney threatening to blow this one open, leading 3-1 to one here in the sixth inning. The way the Lawrence offense has been working today, uh, this they could have enough right now, but they'd take more. There's a ball low, throw down to third, nothing there. Connor Nutting wasn't even on the bag. Ryder going to have to throw strikes here with bases loaded. Comes the 1 0. Inside, strike one. Inside corner. Comes the 1 1. Another strike. Tough pitch right in on the hands. Ryder comes to the stretch. Kicks and deals. This one's behind the batter. And it's going to, the count moves to two and two. Two and two, bases loaded. Ryder fouled out of play. On deck, the shortstop, Isaac Gammon. Here it comes. Little number. They throw to home. They get the force out there. Good play coming off the mound by Ben Ryder. Two outs. Bases loaded, and it's up to Gammon. Gammon has flown out to right field, was hit by a pitch and scored a run in the third, and then flew out to center field. He goes around on that one. He was fooled. It's 0-1. Good pitch by Ryder. Here comes the 0-1. Just outside, one and one. Bases loaded. Sixth inning, three to one Coney. As a strike. One 
One and two the count. Coney leads three to one. Here it comes. Down and away, two and two. Can Ryder come in and shut the door here on this Coney rally? 2-2 two -two pitch. Has a line drive into center field. Coming on strong. Trombley almost overran it. But he makes the play. And Benny Ryder comes in and shuts the door on Coney. But they get a run on a hit. Uh, two hits, I should say. At a walk. At the end of 5.5. 3-1. Coney back after this. Did you know that Americans spend 90% of their time indoors? This poses the question, how safe is the air and water in my home? Northeast Laboratory Services is a fully accredited veteran-owned laboratory with two convenient locations in Westbrook and Winslow, Maine. Northeast Labs has all your environmental testing services covered, including water quality, lead, radon, mold, and asbestos. Convenient kits make testing your home easy. Stop by one of their locations and pick up a collection kit for free or order one online at anylabservices.com. For exceptional customer service and knowledgeable analysts ready to assist with any questions, call Northeast Labs today to find out how they can provide answers for a healthier environment for you and your business. Welcome back to Kai's Field. Rick Dougal, Brian Bork, 3-1. to one. Coney in the lead. It should be a lot more as they've left seven men on base here in this ball game. A really uh, clutch pitching by uh, Ben Ryder coming in to shut the door. He, walked, he came in with bases loaded and, and uh, run already in and only one out and was able to get out of the inning. So we go to the sixth. Ryan Bork will lead it off. He struck out and popped out to the third baseman. He'll be followed by Nickerson and Garrard. Fouled straight back. Bork right on that fastball. Doing nine strikeouts uh, through five innings. To the belt. Kicks and deals. Curveball. <laughs> that was nasty. <laughs> Just left uh, Mr. Bork with bent knees in the box. Oh, and two the count. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He got him. Not to throw him out as it was in the dirt. Tenth strikeout of the game for Dewan. Here comes Nickerson. Nickerson walked in the first. And uh, walked in the fourth. And then he was thrown out at the plate on a uh, caught stealing. It's a ball up high and away. Lawrence tried the double steal. The delay it was a delay steal. The runner took off before the ball was even thrown to the plate. It's a swing and a miss. And... Uh, Gammon made a great uh, throw to the plate to gun Nickerson down. Curveball, strike two. One and two the count. One out here in the bottom of the sixth. Here it comes. Ooh, just outside. Tough pitch to let go at one and two. It's two and two to Nickerson. Comes the 2 2. Upper uh, over his head. And it's going to be a full count on deck. Garrard, Nate Garrard. For the Bulldogs. Here's the 3 2. Up high, ball four. Lawrence has the runner on with one out. Andrew Trombley is on deck. Trombley has the only hit of the game for Lawrence. 
a uh, slow roller up the third baseline that, that the third baseman should have let go foul. Swing and a miss. Uh, Rust, Coach uh, Rusty Mercer is usually fairly aggressive, but uh, trailing three to one, what you, you don't want to do is run into an out here. Owen won the count to Gerard. Throw over. He's back easily. Doing comes to the set. There's a pop up again. Doing under it and makes the play. You don't see a lot of pop ups to the pitcher. That's the second one in the game. So two outs and it's up to Trombley. Launch trailing three to one here in the sixth. Trombley has uh, grounded out to the pitcher and has singled. Like I said, he has the only hit. It's a slow roller up the third baseline and the third baseman came in and he thought that he had touched it in foul ground but it was right on the line and it ended up being a single. Almost thrown away that time. Bovin makes a nice play. Doohan comes to the belt. Swing and a miss. This one's down in the way. Fleck throws down. And back easily is Nickerson. One and one the count. Two outs. Three to one Coney. Sixth inning. Up and away. Two and one. Three and one. Doing ten strikeouts on the day. Has three walks to go along with those ten Ks. Here comes the three one. He didn't go around. And it's another walk. So it's up to Matt Trombley. Trombley is struck out back in the second and grounded out to the first base out uh, to the shortstop in the fourth. Nickerson on at second. Andrew Trombley on at first. The ball away. Again, the Coney outfield is way over to the right if Matt Trombley is able to pull one down the line. The tying run will score easily. He has a strike, one and one. It was hard as doing his throwing. You just got to make contact. Two outs, first and second, one and one the count. They throw over. Almost had uh, Trombley a little too far off there. That's a good throw. They get about easily. First baseman not holding him on, but uh, timed it up perfectly to get over there. The ball was in the dirt. There's a pop-up foul and out of play. One and two the count. Doing one strike away from getting out of this jam. Three to one Coney. Here comes the one-two. Curveball. Oh, 
Nice job by Trombley to just get a piece of that curveball. Ooh, that was nasty. Hunter Lee is on deck. Going to hit for... Actually, Hayden Lee came out of the game. Uh, that's the pitcher's spot next. If Trombley can keep it going. Two and two. A uh, one and two the count. Here it comes. Up and away. Two and two. Boy, the way he struggled with that curveball, I'm surprised that uh, Dewan doesn't go back right back to that curveball again. Two and two the count. Here it comes. Fouled. Oh, off the catcher's face again. Boy, that, that face mask is getting a workout back there for Fleck. It's the second one that's gone right off his face. Trombley stays alive. Two and two the count. Two outs. First and second are the runners. Here it comes. They hit him. That curveball didn't bend enough. So now we got bases loaded. The tying run is on its second. And Hunter Lee is the hitter. So it looks like that's going to be it for Ryder. Uh, he's coming in for Ryder. Pitched one inning. Probably going to be Logan Carpenter coming out for the seventh for Lawrence. Hunter Lee with a chance to deliver here. Down and away, ball one. Tying run on at second, the lead run on at first. Bottom of the sixth as a strike. Coney outfield around to the right. Down low, two and one. Hunter Lee, typically the third baseman, did not start today. Is the two one. As a ball fouled to the right, not a play. Two and two, the count. Bases loaded. Best chance for Lawrence here in this ball game. Here it comes. Swing and a mess. He got him. 11th strikeout of the game for Kyle Dewan. So Lawrence, no hits, two walks, a hit by pitch, and three runners left on base. We go to the top of the seventh. Three to one, Coney. Life is complicated enough. Let's get back to the basics. Starting with what we eat. Healthy food sustains, nourishes, and fuels our bodies and minds. We understand that your food choices really do matter, and we're here to help. No preservatives, no artificial flavors or ingredients. Just wholesome, real food. From the farm to your table. Food the way it should be. Eat well, live well. Uncle Dean's Natural Market. The Central Maine Motors Auto Group wants to buy your vehicle. Come into any Central Maine Motors Auto Group dealership in Waterville and get the most for your car, truck, SUV, or crossover, whether you're trading it towards a new one or not. Selling it online yourself can be a hassle. Or worse, the used car business has never been better at Central Maine Motors Auto Group, and they want to add your vehicle to their inventory. If you're unhappy with your trade-in offer from another dealer, give Central Maine Motors Auto Group a call, and you could get more money for your vehicle with no purchase necessary. Call 872-5591 to speak with used car specialists Mike Lambert, Dan Seegers, or Wendy Voter. 872-5591. The Central Maine Motors Auto Group is buying used vehicles. 
Come into any of their three locations. Central Maine Toyota at 15 Airport Road, right behind Central Maine Motor Chevy Buick 420 Kennedy Memorial Drive, and Central Maine Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat 300 Kennedy Memorial Drive in Waterville. Online at cmautogroup.com. Ready to grow your business? Place your business ad here. Email Epic View Studios and Marketing at epicview at yahoo.com. Any commercial use, rebroadcast, retransmission, or distribution of the following presentation without the express written consent of Epic View Studios is strictly prohibited. Today's high school baseball action is sponsored by the following local sponsors. Sonny's Pizza, Main Street, Fairfield, Fresh Dough, Better Pizza, 4537624. By Aquarius Pool and Spa, 224 Augusta Road in Winslow, you deserve this, 8725827. Welcome back to Kai's Field. We go to the top of the seventh. Lawrence trails three to one, and big Logan Carpenter coming on to take over for Benny Ryder. This uh, Ryder inherited bases loaded, was able to get out of that last inning with uh, no no uh, more damage as uh, um, Coney had scored a run off of uh, Hayden Lee before he was knocked out. Oconee will send Eli Ravanson, Kyle Dewan, and Bobby Stult to face the big fella, Logan Carpenter. Carpenter, strike one. Carpenter came into the Waterville game uh, last week, was able to shut the door on Waterville. There's a fly ball out of play. Foul. He's been their go-to guy to close things out. Not really a closing situation here, but you obviously want to hold Coney and get a chance to score. There's a line drive base hit. As he hung that curveball out over the plate. And Ravanson has his second hit of the game. He's... Uh, Grounded out his first time up, was hit by a pitch back in the third, then singled in the fifth and singled here in the seventh to lead things off. Here's the pitcher, Kyle Dewan. Dewan has singled and stole a base, walked and drove in a run, and then flew out to the left fielder. Ball up high. Big lead for Ravanson at first. There's a the ball. Carpenter gets the sign. Comes to the belt. The 2-0. 3-0. They throw down. Well, they had him off the base. If it would have been a good throw. Bork may have been able to swipe tag Ravanson. But it's 3-0. and Coney trying to get some breathing room, leading 3-1. to one. Here's the 3-0 as a strike. Carpenter checks the runner, comes set, is the 3-1. Fouled out of play as Ravanson was moving on the pitch. Coney one for two in the stolen base category today. Here comes the 3-2. As a pop-up into center field, Trombley drifts in, makes the play. One out to Stolt. 
Stolt started as the DH, then moved over to third base. He flew out to John Roy in the second and uh, grounded into a field, fielder's choice double play in the third and grounded out to Coombs in the sixth. First pitch, ball one up. One out. For Vanson at first with a leadoff single. Here it comes. Ball two outside. Carpenter struggled a little bit with the strike zone today. Checks the runner. Kicks and deals. As a strike. One lift a little up. <clears throat> Carpenter comes to the set. 2 1 on the way. That one bends high. 3 and 1. Comes the 3-1. Runner's going. That's ball four. So Coney with a little something going here. First and second, one out. And Barbo will be the hitter. Barbo singled back in the second. Flew out to the right fielder and walked and scored in the sixth. Carpenter comes set. There's a strike. Don't forget we'll be back here tomorrow 4 o'clock for the final regular season home game, senior night. They throw. They got the rudder off. And they throw it, and Coombs throws it away. Connor Nutting was right on the bag, and Coombs rushed the throw. Thankfully, it didn't get far away, so both runners move up to second and third. They had him picked off. Owen won the count to Bar Barbeau. Swing and a miss. Lawrence infield in now. Really can't afford to give up another run. Trailing 3-1. to one. This one hangs outside. One and two, the count. One out. Runners at second and third. Coney leads three to one here in the seventh. Carpenter. Inside. Oh, well, he wanted that one. Count goes to two and two. Here it comes. Got, just got a piece of it. Hinkley's on deck. He had an RBI single last inning. Two and two the count to Barbo. Here it comes. He's got him walking. Tough pitch, down and away. Big strikeout there for Logan Carpenter. And looks like they're gonna bring Nickerson in. We'll take a quick break. Three to one, Coney, back after this.
The Northeast Labs, 227 China Road in Winslow, Maine's largest laboratory services provider, 8737711. By Kennebec Valley Community College, 92 Western Avenue, Fairfield. Start here, go anywhere, 453-5000. And by Central Maine Motors Auto Group in Waterville, come get your keys at the place with no dock fees, where cars and trucks always cost you less. By Uncle Dean's Natural Market. 80 Grove Street in Waterville. Eat well, live well. 8736231. Welcome back to Kai's Field. Zach Dickerson goes in, comes in to pitch with two outs here in the seventh and runners at second and third. Obviously, Coach uh, Rusty Mercier knows how important it is to keep this game within reach. Um, Carpenter will go to third, and here comes the first pitch. Down and away, ball one. And Nutting moves over to second. <clears throat> Hinkley is the hitter. He singled last inning and drove in a run. Swing and a miss. Way behind that fastball. Here comes the 1-1. Down and away. Oh, if, you if you're uh, Zach Nickerson here, just challenge him. Based on that last swing. 2-1 the count. Swing and a miss, strike two. Uh, barely got a piece. Actually, it is Flannery hitting. Now, it must be because uh, Flannery went in to run for Hinkley after he had the RBI single. And Flannery struck out and grounded out his first two times up. Up and away. Ball three. Full count. Runners at second and third. Two outs here in the seventh. Here comes. Just gets a piece. And it's fouled. Good play over there by the Coney coach. Three and two the count. Nickerson comes to the set. Throws it away. And Ravanson hustling in. He'll score. A wild pitch. I think Nickerson just tried to overthrow that one. And Flannery will be on with a walk. Where Vanson scores on the wild pitch. Four to one. Coney in the lead. Here's Presti who is hit by a pitch. Grounded out to second and singled back in the sixth inning. First and third, two outs. Runner goes, and they're going to let him go. Defensive indifference. One and oh, the count. Nickerson comes to the belt. Strike. This one's way up high. Two and one the count. That's a ball. Seems like Nickerson's kind of rushing things a little bit out there. <coughs> I know he typically works fast, but now he's going to work from the windup. There's a foul out of play. Three and two. Two outs here in the seventh. Coney leads four to one. Outside, ball four. Base is loaded for Kibler. Up and in, ball one. No place to put him now. Kibler has struck out in the second, uh, flew out to right field in the fourth, and walked last inning. This one's in the dirt. Nice stop by Trombley. 
Nickerson quickly down 2-0. and And Coach Mercier coming in. If he's going to talk to him, if he's going to pull him. You know, he's definitely overthrowing and kind of rushing from what I can tell from the last time we saw him pitch. Hate to second guess uh, Coach Mercier here, but uh, he almost should have left Carpenter in. And he's going to stick with him. Assistance Plus has immediate openings in Kennebec and Somerset counties for personal support specialists, certified nursing assistants, and direct support specialists. Apply online at assistanceplus.com. Dave Santone of Santone, Inc., a local nonprofit youth athletic organization, would like to thank all of the seniors for sharing their talents with the community all of these years. Here comes the 2-0. Up high, 3-0. He'd also like to wish them luck in the future. Big pitch coming up here, 3-0 and count. Really can't afford to give up any more runs. There's a strike. Kibler going to be taking all the way here, I'm sure. Here comes the 3-1. There's a ground ball, second base. Coming up with it and throwing out the runner. Lawrence gets out of it with minimal damage. One run on no hit. I'm sorry, one hit. And bases loaded, uh, bases left loaded. At the end of six and a half, four to one Coney. Back after this. By Tanya's Tips and Trims, 27 Main Street, Fairfield. A full service salon and spa for all your beauty needs. 453 1776. By Kennebec Equipment Rental, 19 Skowhegan Road, Fairfield. Quality rental equipment and sales since 1964. 453-9351. By Dixon's Country Market on the Neck Road in Benton. Groceries, cold beer, propane, gas, and more. 453-9547. By Ming Lee Chinese Restaurant, 365 Main Street, Waterville. Voted the best of the best for 15 years. 873-2828. Prime Financial on the West River Road in Waterville, helping Maine families pursue their retirement goals through planning and investment management. Call today, 877-9450. Ready to grow your business? Place your business ad here. Email Epic View Studios and Marketing at epicview at yahoo.com. We go to the home half of the seventh. The Mudville Nine are trailing four to one. Of course, when I say Mudville Nine, I mean the Bulldogs. Johnny Roy would lead it off here. The ball low and away against Kyle Dewan, who has 11 strikeouts through six innings. There's a ball up and away. Neto has is been a victim twice of the strikeout. 2-0 the count. He has a strike. Lawrence trailing 4-1. to one. They need some base runners here in the bottom of the seventh. Three and one the count. It's a strike. Roy tried to sell that one to the umpire. Three and two the count. Roy digs in. Doing gets it by him. Strike three. Twelfth strikeout of the game. Guy's got 12 strikeouts. I'm not sure why you do this. Must be on a pitch count or something. 
as he's just cruising. Pitching change. Coney leads 4-1 to one in the seventh back after this. The truth will break your chains. We have the key. Open your eyes and see. We are the ones who know the answers. And they ain't never gonna hold us back. The sea is rising like we dancers. Oh, 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 oh. Imagine life without a bad bitch. Now picture everything you Everything you're fighting for Did you know that Americans spend 90% of their time indoors? This poses the question, how safe is the air and water in my home? Northeast Laboratory Services is a fully accredited veteran-owned laboratory with two convenient locations in Westbrook and Winslow, Maine. Northeast Labs has all your environmental testing services covered, including water quality, lead, radon, mold, and asbestos. Convenient kits make testing your home easy. Stop. Welcome back. Kai's Field, Rick Dougal, Brian Bork, 4-1 to one Lawrence Trails here in the 7th. Bobby Stelt going to come in and take over for Kyle Dewan. They just switched positions. First pitch, ball one. Dewan, the book closed on him. He throws six and a third with 12 strikeouts and three walks. Only gave up one hit and one run. As a swing and a miss by Parker Higgins, who's struck out twice in the game. Ball away, two and one. And the only hit that Dewan gave up was that slow roller up the third baseline. It's a ball inside, three and one. Base runners. Top of the order, Coombs waiting on deck. There's a ball four. Well, you got a guy that struck out twice, and you don't throw strikes to him. Here's Coombs, who walked and scored in the first, struck out in the third, and popped up to the pitcher in the fifth. One out. Higgins on it for, uh, at first. Ball up and in. Ball outside. Two and oh. Has a strike. <clears throat> Two and one the count. Four to one. Coney in the lead. Bottom of the seventh. One out. Parker Higgins on it first. Has a fly ball to left field. Ravanson gets turned around and is going to make the play. Turned himself around a couple of times there, but was able to settle under it and make the play. Oh, Ryan Bork with two outs. Try to keep this thing going for Lawrence, and you got Nickerson on deck. There's a ripped foul down the right field line. If Bork is able to get on, Nickerson is one of those guys that can tie this thing up with one swing of the bat. Bork has struck out twice and popped out to the third baseman. Three and 
Throw over again. Higgins dives back in. Two outs. Bottom of the seventh. Lawrence trails four to one. Strike. Went around. Tried to duck out of the way of that. Didn't look like he went around, but it's quickly 0-2 to Ryan Bork. Stolt. Strikes him out looking to end the game. You'll find a score of 4-1. We'll come back and break it all down for you after this. Buy one of their locations and pick up a collection kit for free or order one online at anylabservices.com. For exceptional customer service and knowledgeable analysts ready to assist with any questions, call Northeast Labs today to find out how they can provide answers for a healthier environment for you and your business. Life is complicated enough. Let's get back to the basics. Starting with what we eat. Healthy food sustains, nourishes, and fuels our bodies and minds. We understand that your food choices really do matter, and we're here to help. No preservatives, no artificial flavors or ingredients. Just wholesome, real food. From the farm to your table. Food the way it should be. Eat well, live well. Uncle Dean's Natural Market. Welcome back to Kai's Field. Rick Dougal, Brian Bork. Your final score here. Lawrence loses a tough one, 4-1. to one. Uh, Could have been a lot worse as uh, Coney left 10 men on base. Uh, offensively, Eli Revanson had two hits. He was 2-4, for four, scored a run. Uh, Cam Dovin was one for three. He scored a run as well. Uh, but the, really the story of the game is Kyle Dewan, the pitcher, had 12 strikeouts and three, just three walks. Only gave up. Lawrence only had one hit. So not a lot to talk about offensively for the Bulldogs. Uh, the end, uh, it's like, like I said, the only hit of the game was Andrew Trombley's slow roller up the third baseline that really should have been left to go foul by Stultz, the third baseman. Uh, they bring him in to close things out, and he strikes out Ryan Bork with uh, Parker Higgins uh, stranded at first base. Uh, don't forget, again, we'll be back here tomorrow for Senior Night as uh, the Bulldogs take on uh, Erskine in their final regular season game. We'll celebrate Dylan Coombs, Ryan Bork, Zach Nickerson, Hayden Lee, and Johnny Roy, the five seniors on this Lawrence team. Again, your final score, 4-1. to one. Coney gets the victory. For Brian Bork, I'm Rick Dougal. Have a great night, everybody. The Central Maine Motors Auto Group wants to buy your vehicle. Come into any Central Maine Motors Auto Group dealership in Waterville and get the most for your car, truck, SUV, or crossover, whether you're trading it towards a new one or not. Selling it online yourself can be a hassle. Or worse, the used car business has never been better at Central Maine Motors Auto Group, and they want to add your vehicle to their inventory. If you're unhappy with your trade-in offer from another dealer, give Central Maine Motors Auto Group a call, and you could get more money for your vehicle with no purchase necessary. Call 872-5591 to speak with used car specialists Mike Lambert, Dan Seegers, or Wendy Voter. 872-5591. The Central Maine Motors Auto Group is buying used vehicles. Come into any of their three locations. Central Maine Toyota at 15 Airport Road, right behind Central Maine Motors Chevy Buick 420 Kennedy Memorial Drive, and Central Maine Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat 300 Kennedy Memorial Drive in Waterville. Online at cmautogroup.com. Ready to grow your business? Place your business at here. Email Epic View Studios and Marketing at epicview at yahoo.com. Any commercial use, rebroadcast, retransmission, or distribution of the following presentation without the express written consent of Epic View Studios is strictly prohibited. Today's high school baseball action is sponsored by the following local sponsors.
Sonny's Pizza Main Street Fairfield. Fresh dough, better pizza. 4537624. By Aquarius Pool and Spa, 224 Augusta Road in Winslow. You deserve this. 8725827. By Northeast Labs, 227 China Road in Winslow. Maine's largest laboratory services provider. 8737711. By Kennebec Valley Community College, 92 Western Avenue, Fairfield. Start here, go anywhere. 453-5000. And by Central Maine Motors Auto Group in Waterville. Come get your keys at the place with no dock fees, where cars and trucks always cost you less. By Uncle Dean's Natural Market, 80 Grove Street in Waterville. Eat well, live well. 8736231. By Tanya's Tips and Trims, 27 Main Street, Fairfield. A full-service salon and spa for all your beauty needs. 453-1776. By Kennebec Equipment Rental, 19 Scowhegan Road, Fairfield. Quality rental equipment and sales since 1964. 453-9351. By Dixon's Country Market on the Neck Road in Benton. Groceries, cold beer, propane, gas, and more. 453-9547. By Ming Lee Chinese Restaurant, 365 Main Street, Waterville. Voted the best of the best for 15 years. 873-2828. Prime Financial on the West River Road in Waterville. Helping Maine families pursue their retirement goals through planning and investment management. Call today, 877-9450. Ready to grow your business? Place your business at here. Email Epic View Studios and Marketing at epicview at yahoo.com. Did you know that Americans spend 90% of their time indoors? This poses the question, how safe is the air and water in my home? Northeast Laboratory Services is a fully accredited veteran-owned laboratory with two convenient locations in Westbrook and Winslow, Maine. Northeast Labs has all your environmental testing services covered, including water quality, lead, radon, mold, and asbestos. Convenient kits make testing your home easy. Stop by one of their locations and pick up a collection kit for free or order one online at anylabservices.com. For exceptional customer service and knowledgeable analysts ready to assist with any questions, call Northeast Labs today to find out how they can provide answers for a healthier environment for you and your business. 877-9400. 